بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل رقدة من لساني يفقه قولي رب يسر ولا تؤسر وتم بالخير المرفوعات من الأسماء So the word marfu, I'm sure now you're used to it and uh, this is basically رفعه يرفع رفعا فهو رافع فذاك مرفوع So basically مرفوع is on the pattern of اسم المفعول the receiver of the action مرفوع and uh, the feminine form will be مرفوعة and the plural of مرفوعة is مرفوعات So this is what we call المرفوعات من الأسماء Similarly we say الرفع اليدين raising of the hands So رفع basically means to raise something. رفع اليدين في الصلاة, raising hands in the prayer. So that's why it is called مرفوع. And we know that مرفوع, uh, when it is uh, used in a nominal sentence, in جملة الإسمية, then it is called a subject or predicate, مبتدا الخبر. And when it is used in the verb, then it is called الفاعل. So we can see here now, Uh, whenever you open the books or read the books of grammar or surf or uh, you will find that all of these books, they have uh, these lessons with the name of marfu'at, wa mansubat, wa majroorat. And this is uh, the Arab is all about, as we know. Uh, the noun will be either marfu or mansub or majroor, or the verb will be marfu or mansub or majzoom. So first of all, we discuss with uh, marfu'at in the, in the nouns, al-marfu'at fil asma. As we have discussed many times that al-mubtada'u wa al-khabaru, both of them are marfu. Allahu akbaru. So ismu al-jalala is mubtada and subject and akbaru is predicate, al-khabar. Okay, akbaru doesn't have the mean. Why is that? Yes, anyone? Uh, it's ma. It's the uh, adjective that is. Uh, it's mamnu uh, min asarf because it is on the pattern of afalu. Afalu. So any word that comes on the pattern of afalu will be mamnu min asarf. So Allahu akbaru. Uh, Ismul Jalala is Muqtada, Marfu, and Akbar is the predicate, Khabar, which is also Marfu. So both of them will be Marfu. And we know that most of the times, in most of the cases, uh, Muqtada is a proper noun and Khabar is a common noun. But sometimes uh, both of them can be proper nouns, but that is rare. Most of the times, Muqtada will be a proper noun, uh, Ismul Marifa. And khabar will be a common noun, ismu nakira, as we can see here. Then number three is ismu kana. Kan al babu maftuhan. And kan allahu aliman hakima. So ismu kana is also marfu. Ismu kana. We know that kana comes with a nominal sentence with this jumlat al ismiya. And the subject becomes ismu kana, and predicate becomes khabaru kana. So كان الباب مفتوح مفتوح sorry كان الباب مفتوح so الباب is مرفوع over here because it is اسم كان خبر إننا we also know that خبر إننا is also مرفوع as we can see here إن الله غفور so we know that اسم إننا is منصوب and خبر إننا is always مرفوع as we can see here. Then we have al-fa'ilu, as, as uh, we discussed in the beginning of the lesson, that al-fa'ilu is always in the verbal sentence, in jumlatu ismiyatu. Khalaqana Allahu. So khalaqa, he created uh, na, us, he created us. And we have to see um, a noun that has dhamma, or we have to look for the doer, the fa'il. So khalaqa is the verb. Na is the mafool and ismu jalala is the fa'il. Khalaqana Allahu, khalaqana Allahu, Allah created us. 
So al-fa'il is also marfu. And then na'ib al-fa'il, uh, we haven't discussed about it because it is used in the passive sentences, in the majhul sentences. Uh, however, uh, it is also a form of the file, uh, which is which comes after the passive verb. So khuliqa is basically the passive form of the verb. And after that, uh, na'ib al-fa'il will be al-insanu min tinin uh, from the mud. Khuliqa al-insanu min tinin. Uh, a man was created from the mud. So also na'ib al-fa'il means the deputy of the file. Yani, uh, we don't call it directly a file, but it is the deputy or the agent of the file that is in the place of the file, but not a direct doer. So only six uh, of them, as we can see here, they are marfu'at. Al-Muqtada wal-Khabar, ismu kana, khabaru inna, al-fa'il, wa na'ibul fa'il. Then uh, number two is mansubat. Mansubat min al-asma'i. Nasbun and mansubun. Nasaba, yansibu, nasban. Fahuwa, nasibun, fadaka, mansubun. Nasaba basically means to like erect something, to fix something in the ground. Uh, like we have, afala yanzuruna ila al ibili kayfa khuliqat, wa ila al samai kayfa rufiat, wa ila al jibali kayfa nusibat. Ila al jibali kayfa nusibat. Like how. Uh, the mountains have been fixed into the ground, okay? So from that mansubun, uh, we have the feminine will be mansubatun and the plural of mansubatun will be mansubat. So al-mansubatu min al-asma'i. And we know that when we talk about the, the, the nouns, um, the, the, the symbol or the sign that we use for mansub is fatha, right? It is fatha. For marfu, it is dhamma, and for mansub, it is fatha. Uh, mansubat are more, or they are uh, like they exceed in number from the marfuat. Marfuat are only six, uh, but marfuat are more, as we can see here. So ismu inna, ismu inna is mansub, as we can see here. Inna Allah. So here, ismu jalala is mansub. So the noun that comes closer to inna will be mansub. Inna Allah. So this is mansub ismu inna. Khabaru kana uh, is also mansub. Kana ta'amu ladhi then. So khabaru kana will also be mansub. Al maf'ul. How many maf'il are there? Al maf'ilu al khamsatu. There are five objects, okay? Uh, three of them. Maf'ul bihi, maf'ul fihi. Yes. Maf'ul bihi, maf'ul fihi. Mm -hmm. And maful mutlaq. Mutlaq. Yeah, these are the three that we have learned in book two. And inshallah, uh, two of them, al maful li ajlihi wa al maful mahu, we will learn inshallah in, in this book number three. And this is basically, as we know, that this is a summary of whatever we have learned already. All the topics that we have here, uh, we are not going to discuss them in detail. We only need to know that when they are mansub. And inshallah, in the following lessons in this book, uh, we will discuss about them. For example, uh, inna we have already discussed in book number two, kana already finished, al maf'ul bihi already completed, al maf'ul fihi already completed, but al maf'ul li ajlihi and al maf'ul mahu, we will take in book number three. So al maf'ul bihi, uh, the direct receiver of the action. So the direct receiver of the action is always mansub. Fahimtu ad darsa. I understood the lesson. So for him to is fail plus file and adarsa is maful bihi. Al maful fihi, as we know that it is used for the time. Safara abi laylan, my father uh, traveled in the evening uh, or at night. And jalas al mudarrisu, ind al mudiri, the teacher sat with the manager. So as we can see here, inda is also maful fihi because it is used to talk about the place. Then we have uh, al-maf'ulu li-ajlihi. Li-ajlihi means for the reason, like what for what reason something has happened. Um, so ma kharajtu min al-bayti khawfan min al-harri. I didn't go out of the house uh, fearing from the heat because I was afraid of the heat. So al-maf'ulu li-ajlihi, inshallah, we will take it in book number three. 
Uh, similarly, al maf'ulu ma'ahu, ma'ahu means with, uh, as we know ma, and uh, it, it it always comes with wow, and this is called uh, wow al ma'iyatu, yani the wow that gives uh, the something like that is together, sirtu wal jabala. So after this wow, or after wow, when you see that the noun is mansub, uh, that means that this is maf'ul ma'ahu, maf'ul ma'ahu. After a while, normally the noun is marfur. It is not mansub, or it can be majroor, but normally it's not marfu. Or if it is marfu, it is for a reason. But when you see after a while, that means that this is marfu because of wow. What, what will be the meaning? Sirtu wal jabala. I walked by the, the uh, mountain. Yani I mountain. walked parallel to the mountain, yes. It doesn't mean that uh, the mountain walked and I walked. No, sirtu, sara yasiru. And then from there, sirtu, I walked by the mountain. Then we have al maf'ul al mutlaqu. This one we have already taken. The most commonly used in the Quran, that is used the absolute object. Yaqra'u uh, hamidun qira'atan jayyidatan. Hamid read like as it deserves to be to be read okay so to do something as it deserves to be done and what is uh what do you know about maful mutlaq it is basically it is basically the master of the verb the master of the verb for example qara'a yaqra'u qira'atan so this is basically master of the verb and it comes after uh, like uh, uh, the, the the subject or it comes after the file uh, to, to tell about something like uh, to emphasize the idea like I did something uh, in a very good manner. Uh, we can see that this is the sifa of qiraatan. Okay, in a very good manner. Al-hal, uh, we haven't uh, taken it yet. So al-hal is basically, it, it, it is basically adverb of manner adverb of manner, like how we do something, like how we do something. Jaddi yusalli qa'idan. My uncle, uh, my grandfather prays while sitting, while sitting. So as you can see here, uh, in which manner does he pray? He prays while sitting, okay? So this is basically called al-halu. Then we have at the miyizu, mayyaza, yumayyizu, the miyizu, uh, to distinguish something from something. Ana uh, akbaru minka sinnan. I am older than you. Older in, uh, than you in what context? I am older than you in age. Uh, then we have al mustathna, exceptives, exception. Uh, we haven't taken it yet. Hadaratullahu kulluhum illa hamidan. So after illa, uh, most of the times the noun is mansub, not always, uh, but uh, like if the sentence is positive, um, uh, then after that, normally uh, the, the noun will be mansub as we can see here. Al-munada, to call upon someone. Al-munada, is al-munada always mansub? La? No, sir. If it no, is no. If it is ya, if it is one person, rajulun, you will say ya rajulu, right? And when we call upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we say ya Allahu. But when it is mudaf, mudaf ilayh, we need to remember this. Huh? After ya, when it is mudaf, mudaf ilayh, abdullahi, then it will be mansub only. When it is mudaf, mudaf ilayh. But when it is just a mufrid or one only singular uh, uh, kalima, then it will be always marfu. Like, ya Muhammadu, ya Hasanu, ya Allahu. So then it will be, of course, uh, marfu. Uh, sorry, it will be marfu. But when we use it as mudaf, mudaf after ya, then it will be mansub. So these are uh, mansubat. In some books, you will find like 12. In some books, you will find, find 13. But these are the main, like 11 mansubat. And then we have majrurat. Yes, give me the, the, the complete form of majrur. You have learned about it. Like I gave you for uh, marfu, I gave you for mansub, and now I want you to give me for majrur. 
majro it comes after uh, prepositions with that like it comes after preposition the, the anatomy of the the, the word majro like where does it come uh, from jar jarra 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 ya jurru jarru okay jarra ya jurru yes and then jarra. to drag something jarra yeah jarra ya jurru jarra to drag something okay fa huwa jarrun fadaka majrurun majrurun so something that has been dragged is called majrur and the feminine of majrur will be majruratun and what will be the plural of majruratun majrurat Majrurat. and this is what we call al majruratu and these are basically um, these are the huruf the particles or amil as we know that for some reason they will bring the noun into uh, the position of a genitive case which is called al majrur so majrurat are only two al mudafu ilayhi as we know as we know al quranu kitabullah so we know that kitabu is uh, mudaf and ism al jalala is mudaf ilayhi al quranu kitabullah quran is the book of allah azza wa jal and then al masbuku bi harf jar when there is harf jar uh, before it so at tulabu fi al fasli the students are in the classroom so when there is harf jar then the noun will be always majrur and when it is used as mudaf mudaf a the mudaf ala will always be majrur as well so these are only two marfu'at mansubat majrurat all of them that we started from book number 1 book number 2 so here is a complete summary of marfu'at which are six mansubat that are 11 and majrurat that are only two at-tawabi'u at-tawabi'u is basically tabi'a yatba'u tab'an fa huwa tabi'un fa huwa tabi'un so the one who follows tabi'a yatba'u tab'an to follow uh, there is a verse in the in surah al-baqarah man tabi'a hadaya fala khawfun alayhim wala hum yahzanun whoever follows my guidance he will never have grief and he will never have uh, he will never go astray so tabi'u tabi'un is ism al-fa'il and the plural of tabi'un is tawabi'u on the pattern of mafailu so the one that follows the one that follows something or someone that is called at-tawabi'u so at-tabi'u as you can see here huwa al-ism al-musharik it is an ism uh, or it is an associated ism sharaka yushariku musharakatan basically means to participate or to join or to associate okay so atabiu huwa al ism al musharik it is a uh, participating or it is an associating uh, ism lima qablahu what kind of ma is this masula ma al masula okay and when we say lima when alif is dropped what kind of me, uh, ma is that the question word no that is uh, maul istifhamia right so when, whenever you see that uh, uh, alif has been dropped that is lima and uh, that means why lima means why lima taquluna ma la taf'alun lima taquluna ma la taf'alun similarly amma yatasa'alun so basically uh, that is a combination of li plus ma uh, this one here so when you see that there is ma Uh, complete with with alif that means it is ma al mausula ma al mausula means it will be, it will connect the previous idea to the next idea lima qablahu fi irabihi mutlaqan so it is basically a noun that follows the that that follows a noun that is before it in irab fi irabihi mutlaqan absolutely so it will follow the noun that is before it in irab completely so um wa huwa ala arbati anwa'in and it has four kinds anati okay why it is majrur why it's not anatu because of arbati anwa'in so basically it's badal from anwa'in okay so basically badal from anwa'in okay so now inshallah badal is coming so now you will see that why it is majrur 
so anati wa tawkidi so nat is uh, adjective at tawkid is for emphasis atfi is for connecting and wal badal is substitute wa ilaykal amthilata and these are the examples to you or for you anatu adjective we know that adjective follows the noun in four things right it follows in all the four properties it follows in uh, number gender status and capacity but here uh, we are focusing only on irab fi irabi that follows in its irab so al marfu ahadara talibu at talibu is manud and al jadidu is nat we know that we have discussed about it that there are like two schools of thoughts um two school of uh, two schools of thought one is like uh, and uh, these two we discussed about them and basriyin and kufiyin so some of them they say it is not and some of them they say it is sifa so basically in english it is adjective so we can stick to it so because a talib is marfu masuf that's why sifa is also marfu al mansubu yatlub al mudiru al taliba al jadida so here a talib is maful bihi and that's why it is mansub and also the sifa that follows is, is also mansub and then al majrur hada daftar at talibi al jadidi this is the notebook of the new student uh, so at talibi is majrur here because it is mudaf ilayh and the sifa that is following it is also majrur as well so at tawabiu the first one is anatu or adjective the second one is tawkid can you figure out uh, the the root word for tawkid or the form of the verb akkada yu'akkidu ta'kidan that will be ta'kidan ta'kidan akkada yu'akkidu this is wakkada yu'akkidu ta'kidan with wow okay wakkada yu'akkidu ta'kidan that means to emphasize akkada yu'akkidu ta'kidan basically means to confirm something but if you want to use the real word for emphasis that will be ta'kid and not ta'kid all right so that this one starts with wow at tawkid emphasis so um this is also one of the very beautiful uh, you know like uslub of arabic language uh, where we use some certain uh, words uh, to to you know show the tawkid or the emphasis okay um there are around seven of them but i think three of them have been used in the quran and kullu is the most commonly uh, used harf uh, tawkid in the quran so hadara tullabu kulluhum so as we have seen that the this is called matbu so the irab of matbu will be the same which is of the tabi so at tullabu has dhamma so that's why harf tawkid will also take dhamma kullu harf tawkid is basically kullun and we know that kullun is mo most of the times it is used as mudaf mudaf ilayh so kullu is harf tawkid and hum is the pronoun hadara tullabu kulluhum all the students attended similarly al mansubu saltu at tullaba kulluhum so here because at tullab is mansub um, that's why the irab of the kalima kullu is also mansub kulluhum al majrur sallamtu ala at tullabi kullihim uh, and also here it is majrur and also here it is majrur and one is one of the words is kullu and the second one is nafsun nafsun is also used as a mudaf mudaf ale most of the times so that's why whenever you will see it it will be connected to attached pronoun most of the times so qala li hadha al mudiru nafsuhu qala li he told me who told me where is the noun with dhamma the noun with dhamma means that will be the doer so qala li hadha al mudiru this manager told me nafsuhu himself yani yani this manager told me himself like no one else gave me this information this information was given to me only by the manager himself okay now here uh, you can this this construction uh, it can be in two ways qala li hadha he told me this who al mudiru the manager nafsahu himself the manager told me this himself or hadha al mudiru we can say that this is hadha al mudiru because hadha is uh, ishara and mudiru is musharran alayh so we can also say that all of this is also in the place of this manager 
Hagal Madiru will, will mean this manager, right? This manager told me uh, or uh, told me himself. Qala li Hagal Madiru nafsuhu. So Madiru is marfu. That's why nafsu is also marfu. Saaltu al Madira nafsahu. So as we can see here, al Madira, I asked the manager himself. And I asked only the manager, not anyone else. So that's why both of them have the same ending. And salam to al Mudiri nafsihi. I I greeted the manager himself. And I I greeted the manager and not anyone else. Now, if you look at the examples from the Quran, fasajad al malaikatu kulluhum ajma'oon. Fasajad al malaikatu kulluhum. So as we can see here. Ajma'un is also used for emphasis. Ajma'un is uh, the plural of ajma'u. Ajma'un, ajma'una, ajma'ina, ajma'ina. It is also used a lot in the Quran. So here it is double emphasis. So you see how powerful this idea is that all the angels, as you can see here, so the angels prostrated all of them entirely, not even a single of them, single one of them was left. And the one that was left was Iblis, not an angel, a jinn. وَعَلَّمَ آدَمَ الْأَسْمَاءَ كُلَّهَا So al-asma'a is mansub, that's why kullaha is also mansub. And he taught Adam the names, all of them. And وَتُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْكِتَابِ كُلِّهِ While you believe in the scripture, all of it. So all these examples in the, from the Quran, they confirm that kullun and nafsun, both of them are Huruf tawkid and they are used for emphasis. Not tawkid, atfu. Atfu in English we say conjunction or a connecting word or particle. It could be a word or particle. So uh, this is basically also used uh, uh, two equal things or two equal ideas. Uh, it is used to connect two equal things or ideas or sentences. So they have to be equal. Equal means in gender or Arab, uh, they have to be equal. So Kharaja Hamidun wa and Sadiquhu. So Hamid is marfu and Sadiqu is also marfu. And you know why Sadiq doesn't have Dhamma? Why it doesn't have Dhamma? Sadiq is uh, Hamid is five and Sadiqu is Matufan ala Hamidun. Yeah, okay, but Sadiqu doesn't have, uh, uh, I'm sorry, doesn't have Tanween. That's my question. Uh, so the, uh, uh, it is Mudaf, who, who, mm -hmm. Mudaf, Mudaf, Excellent, okay, so Mudaf doesn't take Tanween, excellent. Al-Mansubu, Talab al-Madiru, Hamidan, wa Sadiqahu. So here we have Hamidan, and that's why we have his friend. And Al-Majrur, Aina Kutubu Hamidin wa Sadiqihi. So both of them here, as we can see, they are majroor. Um, there is a small note over here in the book. So I have also noted, I put it over here. Al-Atfu, Naw'an. There are two types of uh, Al-Atf. Atfu Nasqi, or Atfu Al-Bayani. And this one is basically the most common one. Al-Nasqi, like the one that has the symmetry, like similar things. Uh, Atfu Nasqi, Nahu Uhibu Allaha wa Rasulahu. So as we can see here, Ismu Jalala is mansub and also Rasulahu is also mansub. Amma atfu al-bayani, fa yushbihu al-badala wa satadrusuhu fi al-mustaqbali, inshallah. That is like, that resembles like badal and inshallah you will take it in the coming lessons. Atfu nasq, there are, uh, these are the huruf that are used for, uh, for, atf, for conjunction or connecting ideas. What are those? Wow, fa, uh, um, oh, so we have taken them. Wow, we know fa, we have taken um already. Oh, also, thumma, yes. And hatta, bal, uh, and la, they are used as proof uh, of as well. And la can also, we have taken this one as well. Then we have al badalu, substitute. And this is basically also used for emphasis. Uh, so it will also follow the same idea. Anajaha Akhuka Hashimun. So Akhu is Marfu. And Hashim is also Marfu. 
Arifu Akhaka Hashiman, so Akha is Mansub and Hashiman is also Mansub. Aina Gurfatu Akhika Hashiman, Akhi is Majroor and Hashim is also Majroor. So this, this is the example of from Al Asma'ul Khamsatu. Akhu, Akha, Akhi. And this is the regular one. Anajaha Hada Talibu. So did this student uh, succeed? Arifu Hada Taliba. I know this student. And Aina Gurfatu Hada Talibi. Where is the room of this student? Right. So in normal construction, can but the only come as uh, come with Hada? Uh, no, no. Uh, are these just examples? Yeah, this uh, basically Hada, you know that it's uh, Badal. Hada is Ismail Ishara and Talib is Badal. We say this is, uh, uh, we say that this is uh, Ishara and this is Musharra Alayhi. But in some books, they say that Hada is uh, Ishara and Atalibu is Badal. Uh, we have to look at uh, the, the sign of, of this. And Hada, as we know that this is Mabani, right? But it can be anything over there. It could be. Mm -hmm. And could one be more question about it. emphasis. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, that uh, like, um, yeah, the muskun anta was aujuka. So here, anta is, isn't anta used as emphasis? Emphasis, that is called uh, emphasis al lafdiyu. That is al lafdi. Uh, so what's, is, what's the difference between a tawkid and that one? Uh, there are two types of tawkid. Uh, one is al lafdiyun and one is manaviyun. So the one that we have taken is the, the manaviyun and the one that we you are talking about and that we will take inshallah in the coming lessons that is uh, the so there are two types of tawkid. Okay. The one that so the one that, that's falling completely in Arab is, is this tawkid? Both of them and, will and follow the in one Arab. Way. Both of them will follow in Arab. But that will, oh, will follow okay. in the word. And this one follows in the, like, uh, we can say particles. Like, we have seen these particles. Like, uh, uh, wa, wa, fa, wa, am, all of them, they are huruf. So we call them uh, conjunctions, right? So all of these, are, they are huruf. And the other one that you are talking about is uh, the one that is the proof itself, the word or the kalima itself. Okay. Now this is up. Sorry. Your question is about tawkid. Uh, but the, sorry, about tawkid. Tawkid, yeah. So that tawkid, inshallah, we will take later in this lesson. I mean, in this book. Now we talk about al marabu wal mabniyu min al afali. So finally, alhamdulillah, we are done with the nouns. And now we talk about the, the, the verbs and the verbs, they are really like, uh, they are easier, they are not very complicated. How many types of verbs are there? Three. Three, excellent. Six. What are those? Madi. Madi, Madari. Madari, Madari, Madari. Madari, 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 Madari. According to the grammarians, they have said that, uh, that uh, verbs are only three types. Al Madi, Wal Madari, Wal Amr. Okay, Al Fail Al Madi, Wa Fail Al Amri, Mabniyan. So both of these are fail past tense and fail Al Amr, imperative. Both of them are indeclinable. They are Mabni. So done, khalas, we are done with that. The only thing that is left is Al Fail Al Madariu and Wal Fail Al Madariu, Morabun. But uh, Fail Madari is declinable. And we have seen that like in, the, in book number two. Illa, yeah, illa, except if that tasalat behi nuna niswati, when nuna niswa is attached to it, fayakunu mabniyan. But when nuna niswa is attached to it, then it becomes mabniyan. Do you remember the examples? Yadhabna and tadhabna, right? For the feminine plural, for the both of the forms of the feminine plural, they are mabni, they do not change. And uh, uh, here, uh, there is another note over here. Wakadalika yubna. Yubna. Can you figure out the verb? Bana yabni. Bana yabni is the regular form. Buniya yubna will be the passive form. And the passive form is the most commonly used form uh, of the verbs. Uh, all, all of it in the Quran and also in everyday life. And even in English, we use it a lot. So, inshallah, we will also learn about it. وَكَذَلِكَ al مَدَارِيُ And similarly, مَدَارِيُ becomes indeclinable. إِذَا 
Basharat who? Okay, do you remember about Ida? What did I tell you yesterday? When it comes with past, past tense, it gives us it gives sense the meaning of, of presence. presence. Yeah? So Basharat, Basharat, Bashara, Yubashiru, Mubasharatan to join to connect. Okay. So Ida Basharat, who Nunu Taukidu, Nunu Taukidi, when Nunu Taukid is attached to it, then it becomes Mabani. So when we attached, when we attach Nunu Taukid to it. Um, any idea about Nunu Taukid? We haven't learned about it, but in the Quran it is used a lot. So with the verb, when you see La, and then the ending will be Nun at Taqila, Nun has Tashdeed with it, then that means it is used for emphasis. It means definitely, La Ashrabanna, I will definitely drink. La Nashrabanna, we will definitely drink. La Tashrabanna, you will definitely drink. La Yashrabanna, he will definitely drink. Thumma la tus alunna, yawma yadin alinna in. Um, I, I think like there is no page of the Quran where we don't find this Nuna Tawqeed, so it is used a lot. And how will you figure it out? That it basically it's a verb, and in the beginning there will be Lam, Maftuha, there will be Fatha on the Lam, and then the Noon will be with Tashdeed. And it only gives the meaning of the future, and it is used for something that is definite. You will definitely to ask about the namas of all the namas that you had in this life of the dunya. So it is mabani in two when it is nuna niswa is attached to it, and when nuna tawqid is attached to it, then it will be mabani. Afhamu hada darsa. So these are the uh, okay we missed out over here. Uh, no, that's it. So afhamu hada darsa. Afhamu is marfu here. Hada darsa is marfu bihi. So I uh, understand this lesson. Uridu an afhama hada darsa. Here it is mansub. Afhama. Why it is mansub? Because of an. Because, because of an. Of an. I want to understand an. this lesson. Lam afham hada darsa. I did not understand this lesson. Why meme is majzoom? Because, because of lam. Because of lam. Excellent. So, alamatul asliyatu wal So uh, now we are talking about the signs of the madari, the primary and the secondary. Alamatul irabil asliyatu fil madari thalathun. There are three signs of uh, uh, of the original or the original signs. Wahia uh, and these are or the primary signs and these are adhammatu. Alamatu Rafi, Malfathadu, Alamatu Nasbi, Masukunu, Alamatu Jazmi. So, what is the difference between noun and the verb? Noun is marfu, mansub, and majroor. But the verb is marfu, mansub, and majzoom. Majzoom. So, it comes, it takes sukun over there. As we can see here, afhamu is marfu, afhama is mansub, and afham is. Majzoom. So these are the signs of, uh, these are the primary signs. So the primary signs are only three, Adamma, Walfatha, Masukun. Mahunaka, Alamatun Ukhra, and then there are there are some other uh, signs, Fariyatun, that are secondary, Wahiya fil Anwail Atiyati, and these are these kinds, Minal Fali, from the verb. الأفعال الخمسة أفعال الخمسة وليس أسماء الخمسة What are those? I can give you the hint آني أونا إينا آني أونا إينا مصنى سيغاف يذهباني يذهبونا تذهباني تذهبونا تذهبينا Okay, so basically I want to show you here uh, basically, uh, they are six, but the grammarians, uh, they say because, uh, as you can see, yadhabu, yadhabani, yadhabuna. So, ani una, as I told you, you need to remember this, ani una. And then we have tadhabani and tadhabuna, ani una, okay? How many of them are there now? One, two, three, four, and ina, One. five. So, whenever five. you hear this sound of ani una, ina, in the verb, and you have any of the huruf that is harf nasb or harf jazm, 
then these nones will be dropped. These nones will be dropped. So basically they are six, but the grammarians, they say because they are the same, tadhabani, tadhabani, they are the same, they are two, and that's why they call them al-af'al al-khamsatu, awalaysa al-af'al sittatu. They call them al-af'al al-khamsatu. So what are those? Yadhabani, yadhabuna, tadhabani, tadhabuna, and tadhabina. Ani, una, ina. Ani, una, ina. So these ones, um, these are called al-af'al al-khamsatu, alamatu al-raf, fiha thubut al-nuni. So when they are marfu, the noon will be detained. Wa alamatu nasbi wal jazmi, hadf al-nuni. And when we put alamatu al-nasb or jazm, then the noon will be dropped. Aturiduna an tadhabu, do you want to go? So because of an, the noon has been dropped. And we know that when it is una, with the una, alif has to be added. And alam tadhabi ila al-madrasati ya Maryamu, didn't you go to the school, O Maryam? So it was tadhabina, and because of lam, uh, the noon has been dropped. So these are al-af'alu al-khamsatu, number one. Number two, al-fa'lu al-naqisu. What is al-fa'l naqis? Ta'ana. No. That is uh, fail naqis, the, the category of naqis. But when we say fail naqis, sure. that means the third root letter is wow or ya. With haruf illa. Yeah, haruf illa in the third root letter. Not the first, not the second, the third uh, root letter. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. So, alamatul um, jazmi fihi hafu akhirihi. And what is the sign of jazm? It is the, uh, it's like deleting the end of it. Nahu, for example, lam yamshi. It was basically yamshi. So ya has been dropped. Lam yamshi. Lam yad'u. It was basically yad'u. The vow has been dropped. And lam yansa. It was with alif maqsura. So the ya has been dropped. So that's why we say that hadfu akhirihi nahu. So this is what is. This is alamatun uh, fara'iyatun. This is secondary uh, sign because this is not visible. So what happens over here? Um, the ya has been dropped with two dots basically. So ya has been dropped. Yamshi has changed into yamshi. Yad'u has changed into yad'u. And lam, yan, it was basically yansa alif maqsura has also been dropped. al fayl naqisu Then we have al irabu al taqdiriyu And then we have uh, the hidden uh, endings, okay? Tuqaddaru, so when it is made hidden, when it is estimated, alamatu rafi fil fail naqisi, in fail naqis, alamatu rafi will be hidden, the sign of barfu will be hidden. Okay, what is naqis? Yeah, the naqis. Yeah, okay, so yamshi was basically yamshi you. Yeah, yamshi you. Nasara yamsuru. Yadaraba yadribu. Mashaya yamshi you. But what happens, uh, as we know that uh, Dhamma is heavy on Ya, and the rule is when Ya has Dhamma and there is Kasra before it, then it becomes Sakin, Yamshi. Yad'u'u. It was basically Yad'u'u. Dhamma has been dropped. Why? Because when Wow has Dhamma and then there is Dhamma before it, Wow becomes Sakin. Yansayu. Yansayu. When, uh, when Ya has Dhamma and there is Fatha before it, it, it changes into Alif Maqsura. So it has become Yansa. It is basically standing Fatha, but in regular Alif, they don't write standing Fatha. So Alamatul Raf'i Fil Fali Daqisi. So this is Alamatul Raf'i and this is hidden. So wow, uh, sorry, Dhamma is hidden in all of them. Yamshi, Yadu, Yansa. Uh, uh, Dhamma is hidden over there. Then we have Alamatul Nasbi Fil Fali Naqisi Maftuh al Aini. Nahu Lan Ansa. So Maftuh al Ain. Samiya Yasma'u. Nasiya Yansayu. Okay. So it was basically um, Ansa, so you know that when we add harfilan, then we have to put fatha over there, right? Because this is harf nasb. But because this one has alif maqsura, and we have even seen in the in the nouns that alif maqsura does not accept fatha. It does not accept fatha. So that's why alamatul nasbi fil fil naqisi al maftuh al aini. 
المفتوح العيني يعني the عين كلمة not فا كلمة عين كلمة the second كلمة when it has فتحة when it has فتحة in مضارع which باب is this سمع يسمع سمع يسمع so you can remember from here okay so علامة النصب is also uh, it is uh, مقدرة or it is مقدر and then we have علامة الجزم في الفعل المضاعف and uh, in the doubled uh, verbs the علامة الجزم is also مقدرة نحو لم أحجة it was basically there were two gems over there أحججو it was أحججو so what happens because of لم the noon ha the the gem has been dropped and to replace uh, this gem has been replaced with فتحة so that's why it has become أحجة so all the verbs uh, from this family المضاعف or المضاعف whenever we use لم with them then what's gonna happen? Of course, we are not talking about the ones that have noon. When we have una, ina, ina, uh, una, ani, ani, then the noon will be dropped. But the verbs that do not have, uh, they do not have noon over there, then what will happen? Uh, then it will be, it will be, alamatul uh, jazm fil fil, it will be, uh, we say, uh, this is muqaddar, alamatul muqaddara, ala al jazmi. As we can see here, alamat al jazmi fil fil al madaf. So, alamat al jazm basically is muqaddara uh, over here. So, in the Arab of Arab al taqdiri, in the verb, as we can see here, alamat al rafi dama is muqaddara. Alamat al nasb is bab samia yasma is also it is muqaddara. And alamat al jazm in the verb that is madaf, it is also muqaddara. So, all of them dama, fatha, and Scoon, they will be hidden over here. Okay, so I think just a couple of exercises. Yeah, we have around five minutes. The marino, mayizil moraba min al mabni fi ma yati. Sort out the morab from the mabni. Dakhala, yalla. Mabni. Mabni. Why? Mabni. Past. Mabni. It is Martin Mabni. Yes. Idilis. Idilis. Mabni. Marab, the noon will be dropped. Yaktubna, why it is Mabniyun? No, no, because of the noon. Excellent. Ma alamatul Arabi al Asliyatu fil Madari. What are the primary signs of Madari? Primary. Dhamma, Fatha, 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 Jazm. Dhamma, Fatha, Kasra. And Jazm, okay? La, no, Kasra. Marfu, Mansub, and Majzum. Majzum. Dhamma, Fatha, and Sukun. Yeah, Sukun. Also, we can say Maskun as well. Sakana Yaskuru, Sakun, Fawa, Maskun. Maskun. Yes, Maskun. Ma alamatul Arabi al Fariyatu fil Afal al Khamsati. In the five nouns, what are the secondary uh, endings? Yalla, now you should be able to answer me. Ani. As for Ani. Ani. There is no Ani. In a verb, there is no Ani. Remember, please. Yes. Ani. Una. Ina. Ina. Okay. So we will say Alamatu Rafi, Thubutun Noon. They come with the Noon, right? وَعَلَامَةُ النَّسْبِ وَالْجَزْبِ حَفْظُ النُّونِ So that will be the answer. مَا عَلَامَةُ الْإِرَابِ الْفَرْئِيَةُ فِي الْأَفْعَالِ الْخَمْسَةِ So we will say عَلَامَةُ الْرَفْئِ ثُبُوتُ النُّونِ They come with the noon. And when we talk about عَلَامَةُ النَّسْبِ وَالْجَزْبِ Then they will be with حَزْفُ النُّونِ And examples are here. أَتُرِيدُونَ أَن تَذْهَبُ And أَلَمْ تَذْهَبِ إِلَى الْم 
when we use an and lam with them, but turiduna, as we can see here, with thubut al noon, the noon has been retained. Ma alamatul jazmil fariyatu fil fail in naqisi. Fail naqis. What is the jazm ending in naqis verb? We'll delete the last one. Hafu uh, akhirihi. Excellent. Hafu akhirihi. The, delet the deletion of the ending. Hafu akhirihi. For example, lam yamshi, wa lam yad'u, wa lam yansa. So it was yamshi, yad'u, yansa, and the ending has been dropped. Excellent. Ma alamatu rafi fil fail in naqisi. What is the what is the rough ending in the naqis verb? Naqis. Taqdiri. Excellent. Adamma al muqaddara. Adamma tu al muqaddara tu. Examples: yamshi, yadu, yansa. So these are, as we can see here, adamma is muqaddara over here. Hidden adamma, we cannot see it over there. Ma alamatu nasbi fil fail in naqis al maftuh al aini. What is the nasb ending in the naqis verb ending in alif? It's fatha muqaddara. Fatha, fatha. Ascent. Al fatha tu al muqaddara tu. Example? Al fatha al muqaddara. Example? Lan, lan, an, ansa. Excellent. Perfect. Lan, ansa. Okay. Lan, yansa, lan, tansa, lan, ansa, lan, nansa. Perfect. And then I think the last one is Ma alamatu jazmi fil fail al mudafi. What is the jazm ending in the mudaf verb? Sakin sakin has has sukunu al muqaddaru ya al sukunu al muqaddaru. Lam ahujja. That is the example over here. So still this lesson, little bit of this is left. Most of the part is done. Alhamdulillah. And it's a very good review of book number one and book number two. And if, if you forgot some of the ideas, now it's a very good time for you to recall them. And this lesson is a very good practice. And inshallah, in the next lesson, we will continue. Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdika. Shadu la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.